when the WSNPU formed a branch in Glasgow, I thought, this is for me. Because, you see, I was interested in, uh, I've always been interested in the women's movement, still am. In fact, uh, I'm trustee for the uh, Battered Wives homes in Bristol mm. here, mm. which is a voluntary movement. Mm. And um, I've, uh, I, I think I've been in, in every agitation for women's rights since, since that age, since I was 16. Well, I joined this branch, and there were a lot of middle-class women in it, but there were also a tremendous number of working-class women. Mm. Now, I, you may have seen Shoulder to Shoulder, that document. Yes, I have, yes. Well, I think this gives a distorted picture, because it, 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 you would seem to think that the only working woman there was Annie, Ke Annie Kenny. Yeah. But, and the, all the rest were middle class or upper middle class. Well, there were, there were a lot of them. There were the daughters of the aristocracy as well. But you, we had a tremendous number of ordinary working women. Mm -hmm. And uh, the point of this is that uh, when, uh, I, I forget the actual year, I think it was 1910, we were going to, they had a working women's deputation. Yes, it would be 1910, because I was only 17 at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a working women's deputation to, uh, to, to lobby Parliament about, about uh, this mm -hmm. business of votes for women. Mm -hmm. Well, now, e uh, deputations of 12 were, were brought, came from all the big cities in the country. Working women. Mm. They had to be working women. They had to be middle class or upper middle class. Yeah. And when we got to London, there was this huge crowd of women, working women. You were on the deputation yourself? I you? was. I was the youngest, of course. The other women were twice and one case three times my age. But uh, we, were a, we were a united group, all right. And they were genuine, uh, genuinely good women. Some of them were, like myself, members of the ILP or the Clarion group. You know, Robert Blatchford's yeah. that mm. paper. And uh, we went up, but we were marching peaceably over the Westminster Bridge there. Mm. And uh, the Mail and some of the other papers had, had incited uh, the, the bully boys to turn out and break up our, uh, our demonstration or our march, rather. And so they set upon us, they, I did wear a hat there, I haven't worn one for 60 years, but I did wear a hat then. It's torn off my hair, and I, I, had a, I had a lot of hair in those days, very thick, and, and I was pulling it out by the handful. Torn my coat, and generally uh, made me look like a rag bag of vanity. <laughs> and the, this is how they're, and the police were there, mind you, and they never moved a finger to stop it. Were they